We've got a load of Kellogg's arriving here this morning. And the boy seems to ken me. <laughs> he watches my videos. He's just telling me I should be filming him. Big Brian wants to be a movie star, apparently. <laughs> well, there they are. There you go, you're on film now. <laughs> you need to edit me, I'll stop swearing. <laughs> <laughs> I have to edit a lot of swear not right enough. <laughs> Even smells like frosties. <sighs> Boom. <laughs> so this is where we're at at the moment with the tank. We've now got clamps attached onto the tower. Then onto this pipe. Now round onto the attachment for the tanker. However, the clamps that Dad had are far too big. So he's now away for the clamps that are supposed to be on this pipe. Because I'm not really wanting to be pumping into the tank and it coming flying off and covering me or whoever's on it. Um, so, aye, he's away for the clamps and unfortunately we need to stretch them over this because we'd already battered the joints in. All I can say is this is going to be interesting. <laughs> we'll need to strap it down somehow to move it. No bouncing up the road with this. Like that. <laughs> Christ, here we go. Wonder how many trees he'll knock down on the way up. I'll wait to get the fort lift. So I can lift it off with this contraption that we made. Well, contraption Dad had made years ago. A pipe that goes over the fork with a hoop in the end. So I'll need to climb a ladder, get to the top. And then hook it onto the chain and lift it off. <laughs> oh my. Hey Maggie. Waiting patiently. Eh? She's well strapped in, so don't worry. He's just taking his time just in case he meets somebody or as uh, quite the contraption when you see it. <laughs> oh, that was close. You should maybe have phoned me there. Or maybe I should have phoned him. I don't know. That was close anyway. That's where we're going up there on the top. There's really no care in the new. Just wee trees right enough, but... <laughs> I stand corrected. I forgot about these trees. Just. Oh well, Beda. <laughs> I thought it would have been a bit worse than that, but quite pleased with how that's went and bringing it up. You can only see how it works after we get it in right enough. Not sure where we're going to put the hang right enough, but <laughs> we'll find somewhere to sit the hang. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, I hope this is still attached. Yes, it is. Perfect. So I was not climbing up there again. He could do it. Perfect. Right. I'll uh, need to move this trailer out the road now because it's going around the corner. Dad and his ideas. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably work, but I'm not sure how well. <laughs> we'll probably need a few tankers. I think one might be just too slow. <laughs> Great actually, I just thought about this. I'll need to climb up on top of that again to unhook it. Uh get my chain back. <laughs> a wee pad here, so all should be good once it's on top of that. So Dad's decided he's going down the road to get the slurry tanker and he's going to try it first because he's desperate for a shot here. Meanwhile I have to go and roll out some pipes ready for tomorrow. <laughs> so tomorrow is going to be mayhem. Ha! <laughs> can only see how it goes, I suppose. I've been mucking out the old buyer shed, so the first two pens got shifted to the stable room there. And then uh, now for the last pen to go out across into the whole pen outside over there till I muck out the rest. These guys will stay in here because they're that small. They're just young things. But this was the buyer. Where the insulated roofing starts there. This bit down here used to be the buyer. Insulated roofing above it. Up there used to be feeding. And they'd shovel it down these holes. There used to be shoots like this over there. And uh, aye, the feeding would go down from up there, down to the front of the cows that were in. Just see the old bays there and the lines where the walls were. Now for the next problem, they'll not like the concrete. <laughs> Come on out. Ch -ch -ch. Well, I guess here we go. Tanks in place. Tankers. Pitched up, ready to pump the next load in. She's full at the moment. And uh, Dad's hitched up down the road. In the field. Oh. Guess all there is now is to start her up. Don't need to bleed it, seeing as it's got the workload behind it. I reckon around 1200 will be alright. We sorted the back sluice gate on the tractor, so hopefully he's remembered to move it. Fill it, I suppose. 
and then get down the road for another tanker load. We're not sure whether or not we're going to be... Well, Dad suggested getting the TM140 on the other tanker, and then once it's... if I'm not able to keep up, he jumps on it as well, but I thought that would be a pain. But the more I think about it, we could get two tanker loads in there, then two of us go down for another two tanker loads, then get going again. Then that's basically four loads ready just to spread. So, it's just a thought. You can hear it. Just hear it rattle in the tank there. So. That's when I'll know it's empty. It stops making a noise. Hear it battering against the side there. Working well though. Just need to see how well I can keep up, you know. What a gorgeous day too. Surely nearly empty now. That's our empty now, you can hear it. Kind of hisses our way up there, too, so that's pretty good. Pipe's empty. Get it out the road. I'm gonna run it over. Right, I'll need to race down the road. I don't know what the story will be. <laughs> Hurry up! Phil! <laughs> Wonder if he's still going. Random crap. How's your day going? That's full! Looks like he's stopped, so I think we're going to have to do the two slurry tanker thing that we were thinking about. It would ideally be two other folk helping, well, somebody else in the other tanker, but we don't have that option at the moment unless we get somebody this afternoon. Send it! I wasn't far behind, so we're just emptying this and Reading it, but I'm not sure what's going on. Sounds like there's something knocking in the pump. Oh, I need to switch that off. So the pump's not working now. Something's jammed in it. I'm here getting another load of slurry. Um, we switched the pump off. And we're going to see what was making the noise. And uh, then get back on again. <laughs> That's this one filling up now. It's a old around two tanker full. I'll be just under that unfortunately. I thought it holds I thought it held slightly more than that. But unfortunately not. Try to deal if it was a wee bit bigger. I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize. We're getting certain items in my machinery tour. Uh, the wee mini digger is not here, and so I couldn't show it. I forgot to go and record the plow. I don't know how, because that's one of my favourite things to do. I like plowing to a certain point, <laughs> and then it gets repetitive. 
play and do like the plough. And oh, there's a grass seed box with Harrah's on it, I forgot to show that. And the big digger that we bought eh, this year, not last year. Seen it anyway. <laughs> right, she's looking well. This solid bit of plastic, whatever this is. Somehow it's ended up in there and it's jammed at the fins in the back there so that's impeller, that's what actually causes all the pressure um, so I think we're going to need to strip further in to try and unjam it, unfortunately uh, not ideal but hey ho so these things would have been inside that tank and we wouldn't have known about it and uh, now that we've started using it we've found them <laughs> so I'll need to see what the crack is when we get further in here so it was uh, the rope on that blade is the problem whoa maybe not we not took enough of the rope off. So we've now found the actual problem, which is the knife. And uh, so on the back of the knife, there's supposed to be some sort of bush that goes in there. That's right there. Anyway, that's about all I can do today. It's uh, <laughs> going to need to wait till tomorrow and phone about and see if we can get a new blade. That's the blade that cuts everything as it's going in to make sure it doesn't choke. And uh, well, there's string wrap around it. And, uh, just not quite sure. It's just sheared uh, around about what looks like a bush that could go in the slot on the back of the knife. Um, so that's all crumbled and caused problems. So, hey ho, that's that. And uh, <laughs> we can only wait till tomorrow. So, cheers for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, We'll see you all soon, hopefully with a video of it all going well. <laughs>